we have to bring in. I know I'm eating. I know you take me while I'm eating. That's good. <laughs> I have to bring in the distance formula, right? Right. What's the distance formula? Uh, you just had it. The square root of square root of h x two x two minus x one square plus y sub two minus y sub one square. Y'all know I'm talking about open parentheses and then I'm just assuming that you do that. So of course this is talking about the distance between two points, right? And those two points, point one would have to be x sub one, y sub one, right? And point two would have to be x sub two, y sub two. So if I have two points, I can find the distance between those two points using the distance formula. But well, when I have a function or some type of equation that's representing a function, then it's a whole lot of points on there, right? So the key with this problem was they wanted me to find the uh, point that would be the closest to the point that they gave me at first so that I could get the shortest distance, right? Uh, so what point did they give us? What was the first point that they gave us? Two, okay. zero. Two comma zero was the point that they gave us. And what was the function? Y squared equals two x. All right. So I know point one. If I call that point one, this is my first point. So in order for me to use this, I need a second point. Right. Right. Well, what if I solve this for y? What would I get? Well, I'm gonna square root both sides, right? So what would this be? Y equals, or really plus or minus, the square root of 2x. So really, <clears throat> I know that for whatever x I plug in, this is really two functions, right? Right. And I think remember we drew the function, we, we uh, had a negative portion and a positive portion, it looked like a parabola on the side. I remember that? I don't know if y'all remember that. I didn't really know that. I know that y could either be positive, y could either be the square root of 2x, or y could be the negative square root of 2x. Right? That's the two functions that's here. <clears throat> Let's look at this first function. I know that since this is a function, whatever x that I plug in, right? The y value is going to be the function computed on that x value, right? So this second point would be x comma f of x, if I call this function f of x. Do y'all get that, what I'm saying? If this is the function, I know that the input value, whatever I put in, the output is going to be the function computed on that input value. So x comma f of x would be just x comma whatever my function is. And in this case, it's the square root of 2x, right? Right. All right. So when I go to plug this in the distance formula, so you, what would I have? Brandon, can you use either or? Well, we can, I'm going to show how you can use either or, but we're going to look at just the top one first. So the distance, d equals the square root of, what's the, what are we going to call x sub 2? What's the x value of the second point? X, some x value, right, that we're looking for. So x minus 2. That was the x value of the first point. Squared. Plus. Plus. Square root of 2x. Well, in parentheses, the square root of 2x minus 0 squared. Square. Right? So if I go to simplify this, d, and d represents the distance, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, <clears throat> I will square this out. Let's square that out. What would I have? So, uh, square, double. square the first term, yeah. not X double. Square. X squared. Take the two, multiply them, and double it. Four. Well, what kind of four? Four X. Negative 4x. Negative 4x. And then minus, no, plus 4. Plus 4. Plus four. And what about this one? Look what's happening. It's 2x squared. So you just square root on multiply, like, just cancel that, right? Well, what, I know that I'm subtracting 0, so that's just going to simply be the square root of x. And when I square, that it's just going to be, huh? And you say for the second one is negative 2 times the x, right? Then. Yeah, negative 2 times 8, that's a negative 2x, then double it. So that's times 2, being negative 4x. All right. All right. So then right here, we know we were subtracting 0. So that's just going to leave me with the square root of 2x. But I'm squaring that, so that gets rid of the square root. So I'm left with 2x. So now what? Still simplifying, what would I have? My like terms are negative two, four x, and x. so that's x squared minus two x plus, plus four. All right, so that's this represents my distance in terms of x. They want this this distance to be the smallest distance. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. All right. All right, let's, you know that we're dealing with calculus, so what should we be doing? Right? Slope. Okay, we're going to, so slope and calculus is what? Derivative. Derivative. So we need to take the derivative here. Yes. Right? Yes. Derivative represents the change in distance, right? Yeah. The change in distance over time. So we can change it to uh, square root two. So we could change this to a one half, right? Do the chain rule. So can I just go ahead and erase this? Yes. Go ahead and do this. And put one half? Yes. So then dt over dx, the derivative in terms of x, would be what? You said d d. One half. Well, d, d of big D, the, the distance. One half. One half. X squared minus two. Well, in parentheses, all this stuff. X squared minus two plus four. Because that's my candy, right? Negative one half, uh, negative one half power. Times the derivative on the inside is going to be 2x. 2x. Minus two. Minus two. All right. So what does it mean for us to have the shortest distance? Well, the change in distance should be what? If I want to go the shortest distance possible, what does that mean? If I want to move right now the shortest distance possible. Don't move at all. So what does that mean not moving at all? It don't change. So if I'm not changing, and this represents my change, what should that mean? Equal to zero. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> you set this equal to zero. We don't simplify first? Oh, you're going to have to. Well, you're going to have to. Oh. Right, can y'all see that? So let's come over here and simplify. So we already see that we have a negative exponent, so something's going to go at the bottom, right? Yeah. What's going at the bottom? The whole, the first part. All right. And what is that? X squared minus 2x plus 4. Yeah, I can put my 1 there, so I know a 1 will go up there and a 2 will go down there, right? So what's going at the top? 2x. 2x. 2x minus 2. Now notice this. This is times 1, right? A 1 at the top. And the two at the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. And I know that's going to be positive, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So look, this one is being multiplied to the parentheses, right? So boom. 
Each one of those have a two in it. That's a two down there being divided. So boom. X minus one. Yeah. So that's how you get that. Right? I got a fraction being set equal to zero. What's the only thing that's in a fraction that could give me zero? Zero the top. The top, right? The top. So boom. One. Why do you erase it? It's one. So my x got to be. He said, "Why well, erase that bottom part? Let's go back." Oh, you trying to say that equal zero? Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. You got me? Yeah, Anybody else need another explanation of why? So we erased it. All right. Plus four to the one half. You understood all the other changes we did? Yeah. When we had the, I got rid of the two. All right. all right. We set this equal to zero. We know that the denominator cannot be zero. Why? Because it wouldn't make it like. All right, so now if I wanted to find out where this would be undefined, I would set this equal to zero, right? But since I want to find out where this is equal to zero, I'm going to set the top equal to zero. So, boom. So then I have to solve this. I know x equal to 1. So I know that the shortest distance traveled between this point right here and this function would have to be when x is equal to 1. Well, I have the distance in terms of x. What's the distance in terms of x? This right here, right? right. Can I just plug in 1? Oh, yeah, for x. Yeah. Yeah. So my distance is going to be, well, I know that's all going to be the square root, right? That's 1 three. minus 2. Plus four, right? Because that's uh, x squared is is if, is if x is one, that's one squared is one. Minus two times one is two, plus four. And what's all that? One minus two is a negative one. Plus four is what? What is that? Y'all stop paying attention to this. Come on, three. Square root. So, and square root of three. So this represents my shortest distance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think you do it. Am I on camera? Now you know what you're doing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we turn it off.